What's up, Africa? We all know that religion is big business. The Vatican City is rumored to have over a billion dollars worth of assets. That's some serious cash. Cause we be big, 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 but Africans have started following in the footsteps of their European cousins, and unsurprisingly, we're doing it pretty well. Journalist Seyi Rhodes recently made a report about Nigeria's millionaire preachers. Here are some of my favorite bits. I've discovered the secret in God for the higher life. At his home in central Lagos, he showed me his three luxury cars worth over 150,000 pounds. Was Jesus poor? Jesus was a poor man, yes. He was not. Jesus had nothing. No, it's a lie. Jesus was rich and had an accountant. Yeah, didn't you guys know? JC was like the Jay-Z of biblical times. He had an accountant and a secretary, damn it. He was a businessman. Jesus, your six o'clock is here. A million here, a million there. Sicilian bitch with no hair. Another bit I like from the Say Rhodes report is the coverage of ex-Nigerian pop star turned preacher Chris this whole street is called Household of God Street because it's owned by the church. It's run by Reverend Chris Okotie, a former pop star who had hits in the 80s with records such as Secret Love and Show Me Your Backside. Most of the people here have come to see him using his talents and he does so brilliantly. The majority of this service is him singing and dancing on stage. Putting aside for a second the dodginess of a preacher ever having a hit song called Show Me Your Backside? <laughs> Let's be honest, mixing music and preaching is a genius combination. I could never find another person more generous than you, more generous than you. God, you are close to me, you're like my mother, close to me, you're like my father. Next up is a commercial for a gin brand in Ghana. The ad has been so successful that there have been spin-off dance crazes, TV appearances, and even a clothing line. The key characters are Oboshi, the slightly bigger lady, and the Chinese dude at the end. Check it out! Hello? Brilliant. This next video is a banger. It's a new tune from Angolan rapper Agregi featuring Bruna Tatiana. The track's being played a lot on Angolan radio stations and dance floors, and it's called Antanao. Watch till the end of this week's show to see a photo series that brings to life the counting process during elections in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Before that though, it's time for this week's What's Up Africa question. And this week I want to know what your favorite African destination is and what's so special about it. Just leave your answers in the comment section on the YouTube channel. <coughs> That's it. My name's Yuken Nazwike. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next week for another edition of What's Up Africa. Angola, Namibia. <laughs>